he'll just go into your account and pick, uh, make sure that you're, you know, he was, it was vague, but it made it sound like, oh, yeah, no, that's just, you know, advertising. You could ignore that. And then they went and charged my card. So I was misdirected, and whether it was intentional or not, you know, I'm not even going to speculate, but uh, so what do we do now? Because, I mean, for all I know, something else is coming through I forgot about, and I'm going to be overdrawn because of this, because I'm watching literally okay. every penny. No, I, I completely understand. I, I've got the same issues right now with my financial situation, so I understand how stressful that is. Um, let me do me a favor right now. I want to put you on a brief hold just to confer with someone, but we're going to get this straightened out today, okay? Just to stick with me, and I will be right back, and we'll get this resolved. All righty? Mm -hmm. Okay, bear with me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Yeah, hi. Okay, all right, so I did confer with a supervisor, and he instructed me on what to do. Well, don't worry, we're going to get this rectified. I'm going to transfer you over to the person you need to speak to that's going to fix this for you now, okay? Saturday, 9.32 a.m. Good morning. This is Shane on Netflix. How can I help you? Are you serious? I'm sorry? You don't know anything about what, who, what, what's going on? I do not. I, all I know is that I just got a phone call. Okay, well, I'm one of the TV on experts. I can help you with everything Netflix related. Okay, so I um, am about 35 minutes into being ripped off, and I'm being um, getting increasingly angry with every second. So the girl that just passed me to you said, I'm going to pass you to someone who's going to be able to rectify this problem. And so you don't even know my name? Is that right? No, I do. I've got your account pulled up here. Oh, I've okay. got to verify the information. What is your name? Raina Fortini. And I can see my last 30 seconds. Right off the bat. Changed. So can we really just jump to the chase? Right off I the bat. Yeah, what's your email address? He, miss he gave me the impression he doesn't know anything. <sighs> the same one that I this gave This guy's a mind game ago. player. I, just, I got to be able to verify the account. Saturday, 9.33 a.m. Come on. Seriously, I have to tell the whole story? I got an email this morning at about 8.15. Account has been canceled. Oh, no, I don't want my Netflix account canceled because the last person I talked to said that I had a credit and I could... Uh, it's whenever I decided to um, restart the uh, the account again because it was on hold that I that it was fine. There was no limit even, and I was probably going to do it in a couple weeks when I had some money. Right now, I have about seventeen dollars in my bank account, and so I am usually charged four ninety nine a month, which is not a big deal. And um, mm -hmm. I hope to have money in a couple of weeks, and so I thought, well, let me just take care of this now. And uh, so I called, wanting to give the guy my credit card. He said, oh, just go ahead and log online. Um, every and, and actually, he made it sound like you don't even have to do it today. You won't be canceled. Your account, uh, the queue is still there. Everything as it was is still there, so there won't be any problems. And I, I 
believe I asked him, and it's the same. I don't, I, maybe I didn't ask him if it's the same or not, but he made it sound like everything's the same. But I know I asked the guy a couple months ago, or last time I talked to you, if I could still have the four nine nine a month, because I thought maybe you got rid of it because it's so cheap, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I <clears throat> then proceeded to go online, and as I'm about to click uh, restart your thing, it very clearly said seven ninety nine. So I was like, I don't want to be charged seven ninety nine plus tax. So I called back to make sure that wasn't going to happen. And the guy said, uh, oh, well, give me your credit card number. Um, uh, he said, what was the account that the seven ninety nine was charged to? And I said, no, it wasn't charged yet. I didn't do it yet because I don't want to be charged seven ninety nine. And he said, oh, you, you won't just be. And he said, oh, you won't be. You know, you can just go ahead and log in, and um, and that's and I tried to, and I, you know, went from my email. I clicked on that, which I usually don't do, but I did. And then I pulled up another window to try to go to an old, you know, Cash Netflix page, thinking it'll give me some other way to go, and it didn't. I was locked into this. Like that was the only thing I could do. So with instructions from this guy telling me, um, oh, you know, you're still going to go to your account and choose your plan. Uh, you know, I mean, he sounded nice. I had no reason not to trust him, and so I just went ahead and clicked it. And sure enough, it said, thank you. For, you know, you are now in the 799 mm -hmm. plan. I was like, fuck oh, you. Why would you? So then I had to call back so. and wait another 10 minutes to get another operator. I called actually probably a total of 40 minutes now because I called back a couple of times, and I'm in the middle of trying to get my day going. And so this is going to be an hour of complications. Well, let's get you fixed up. All right. Hey, I know exactly what we got to do. It's a very simple fix. All I need is about 30 seconds to get you taken care of, okay? All you want is the 4.99 plan, correct? That's yeah. it? Nothing else? I can't right so, now. Like I said, I have, like, no money. So I just, I mean, if I, I wish you hadn't sent me the email, and in a couple of weeks I probably might have even gone to the 7.99 if I could afford it, but I can't right now. So, so at this point in time, we need to just uh, to cancel everything and make sure you don't get charged. Is that correct? What do you the streaming that you signed up for. Okay, I didn't sign up for anything except to reinstate the account that I have had for many years with you, which is... Uh, so at, at this point in time, your account is currently turned on for instant streaming, which is uh, the 799. It didn't do anything DVD related. If you don't, then get in there and cancel it. Would you like DVDs or... Do you want me to cancel the streaming so you don't use it? For now, I can't cancel the streaming because I wanted okay. to sign up for the four ninety nine. And I wasn't signing up, I was reinstating what I've had for years, so that's mm -hmm. why you can end of messages. Yeah. And unfortunately Damn, this is twelve minutes. Unfortunately, um we ended up having an argument because he he told me like another few minutes later that he had refunded the seven ninety nine plus tax. So he says he never mentioned that from in this whole part, but that's why I was like confused by the cancellation thing because that was why I called in the first place. And like I said to him, I called on the phone, ready to give whatever uh, card number I needed to reinstate the four ninety nine a month plan. But that took over an hour and um uh, uh he said he refunded money but that's gonna take, you know, two to five days, he said. And um so meanwhile, you know, the seventeen dollars I had in my bank account is like suddenly um you know, just over ten and so I I now I really couldn't afford to do charge another five dollar charge to bring it down to like just a few dollars um I mean I could have but it just something it was something that could wait so it none of it should have even taken place and then he just he just became like he was very passive aggressive in this way but you know I said do you mind if I curse and he said yes I do and um well Netflix has the rest of the conversation Stupid conversations we have over money. I don't want to call it part one. I just want this to be like probably one in a series.